Hello farmers, you are welcome back to Adotar Farm. Please kindly subscribe to our YouTube channel if you haven't done so and click the notification bell to get notified when next we drop a new content for you. A friend of mine called me some time ago and asked me the difference between Clara's catfish, Etrobrancus and hybrid. So today I'll be dealing on the topic what is the difference between Clara's catfish, Etrobrancus and hybrid so you stay on and watch the video to the end please don't forget to like and share then drop a comment if you feel like dropping uh, if you are confused about something or the other if you want to ask question you can drop your question so that we can treat it together here so now i'll be telling us uh, the difference between this uh, so firstly it is how to identify clara's catfish it is simple to identify Clara's catfish because it is what we are dealing with every day. So to identify catfish is very simple. There is a long line at their back. So there is a long line at their back. It is not tall and it is not low. So there is a long line at their back. If you check it very well, they have a very straight line on their back. So that is one of the things you can use to identify Clara's catfish and usually their head is very spherical and a bit tall so their head is very spherical and a bit tall so that is one of the things we can still know clara's with so clara's catfish the, those are the two examples physical example i can tell you that you can usually you take to recognize clara's catfish so they have a very long line on their back and they have a very spherical head so you should take note of the two so that is the thing you can use to recognize secondly it is how to identify etrobranchus it is very simple to identify etrobranchus too if you look at their dosal fin it is long usually long from their head when it gets to their teeth it's divides to two so the second one is what we call adipose so they have adipose whereas clara's, clara's catfish has no adipose so they only have a uh, dosal fin so but uh, etrobranchus have both dosa fin and adipose fin so that is one of the things you can uh, easily recognize atrobranchus with so number two they always have flat head so they always have flat head so atrobranchus always have flat head and the number three of it is they grow long and big they usually grow lo long and big clarence do grow big too but they don't get long as um atrobrangus does so atrobrangus grow long and they have both adip adipose fin and dosa fin on their head on their head so you should note that on their on their back they have a very long adip uh, dosa fin and adipose fin so it is to the so with this example you can physically recognize them the third part of it is how to ident identify hybrid how to ad identify hybrid it is very simple to identify hybrid too so they are uh, they are unlike um heterobranchus but their adipose fin is very small if you look at them well their adipose fin is very small just check the picture and you you, you can still reverse this video and check the one of uh, heterobranchus so heterobranchus are natural but um hybrid is um, a true clearance so they are they are a product of hybrid and clara's catfish so they emulate little little character from both uh, two uh, uh, breed so you understand so uh, their own adipose fin is very small so that is the simplest way to identify hybrid so hybrid, hybrid is a product of clara's and heterobranchus another one is how breeders derive hybrid so breeders derive hybrid from both clara's catfish and atrobranchus so when breeders use atrobranchus to hatch uh, clara's catfish so the result is always hybrid so hybrid if you check hybrid where as you can see the pictures hybrid is a product of both clara's catfish and atrobranchus so if you see if you see it it, it has some things appearance like that of uh, catfish uh, clara's catfish and also it possess part of atrobranchus too so if you look at the adipose it is very small compared to that of um 
Etrobranco said, Etrobranco have a bigger one, and, he, and it has a smaller one. So when uh, two different breed of the same species come together, so it will give you hybrid. That is, that is where we get our hybrid from. So you subscribe to our YouTube channel and keep on watching all the time.